some success. It rerouted all of the channels in the lower and the upper carcass that were incorrectly routed, filled some of them up with, what do you call them, stir sticks and glue, and then was able to reroute them. So everything's good. Sacrificed the two shelves in this piece, but have placed the microwave, drilled the screws, know that everything's gonna fit. So at this point, this thing looks more or less like a success. There's some variation here due to the warpage of the wood, but I believe once it's smushed up against the other cabinet, that will disappear. So taking a break and we'll return shortly. <laughs> you can see this is the old depth of cut by the router and this is the new depth of cut by the router so that that was just left in there that's fine this was rebuilt up using popsicle sticks and glue which is kind of silly but it works so not complaining um i got all excited because i i forgot that i had made this uh this shelf much higher so it used to be sort of where the tape ended and I was freaking out because I thought I was going to have to move this thing down yet again. Not the case, thank goodness. The microwave have already, uh, I guess you can't see it because of the pocket hole screws, but there are, there's a hole here and another hole here. So the, um, the microwave has already been test fit and it works. Cuts have to be made here for the ventilation. Again, by now you probably will have seen the other part of the video. Um, I guess it depends on how I edit this, but I had a friend over. She comes over every once in a while to just sit and yammer at me while I work, which is for me actually incredibly helpful. So tonight she, she actually did a lot of the work. 